नमस्कार रातो पार्टी हेरेर बस्नु भएका सम्पूर्ण दर्शकलाई स्वागत छ म निकेश खत्री नेपालले आयोजन गरेको यो लगानी सम्मेलनमा सहभागी विदेशी लगानीकर्ताहरु के भन्छन् त उनीहरुको नजरमा यो लगानी सम्मेलन कतिको सफल बन्ला अनि यो लगानी सम्मेलनबाट आएको प्रतिबद्धतालाई कार्यान्वयन गर्नको निमित्त के कस्ता कामहरु गर्नु पर्ला आज हामी यही कुराकानी गर्ने छौ आउनुस कुराकानी गरौ यू आर हियर इन नेपाल टु पार्टिसिपेट इन द थर्ड इन्भेस्टमेन्ट समिट हाउ हैज योर एक्सपीरियन्स बीन फर्स्ट अफ अल Warm greetings to all the people, friendly people of Nepal. I'm extremely happy to be invited for this event and to see the tremendous effort that has been done by the government in terms of economic reform, but also in terms of uh, incentives for the investors. So I was surprised to see the quality of people attending the event, but also was even more surprised to see how people are willing to be a part of this uh, journey which Nepal has started I think Nepal has all the ingredients to be um, attractive in investments it has also many elements which are in its favor stability um, uh, good policy for energy renewable energy with climate change that you are facing the whole world and then I think we can learn from the experience of Nepal and I'm sure that we can also share our own experience from Morocco Did Morocco's peoples uh, invest in Nepal before? Not yet, uh, because of the distance, but we are uh, cooperating very closely. We are also sharing experience in terms of training and then of um, good what I say, practices. It's always important for any country to see what the others are doing and then also to benefit from these experiences. Okay. If they are planning uh, in here in future, uh, what will be that sector? probably i would think uh, being the largest producer of fertilizers in the world and agriculture is a very important uh, sector for uh, for nepal it should bring more added value than it what it is now okay. and probably that one be the sector that's one secondly we are also very known uh, tourist attraction uh, last year we received 14.5 million tourists yeah. and i think we have good practices um and uh, in some places similar uh, similar um, attractions in terms of tourism that's also a sector where we could work together okay. recently the government of nepal revised uh, many policies to attract uh, fdi in nepal do you know that i was happy to learn uh, part of them yesterday at the event but also i was even more happy that the president has also ratified many of the reforms if not all but at least most of them which will be a very good signal for the investors community and i am sure that people will are following closely what's happening and then all the international agencies and and banks for development banks yes i'm sure yes what do you think governments this uh, idea can attract fdi in nepal of course because um, the incentives that any government is it's an open market for competition yeah. So people go first of all where their money is secure where they can get much benefits where they can find skilled labor and where also they are easy finding funding so these elements which have been uh, done by the government will definitely attract the international funding which is very important for investments yeah. i am very positive yes in your thoughts how can nepal can, uh, how can nepal grab a lots of opportunity from this investment summit I think already the number of people coming here is a very good signal because um, you can make a very good discourse very good speeches but you are into the heart of um, I would say practicability so while admitting that there are a few elements which could be brought and then more incentives for people in terms of land in terms of uh, of preparing the labor and preparing all the things i think yeah it will definitely bring more and then the uh, government agencies are already working and then approaching many of the investors and of the banks today we had a very interesting session in the morning a breakfast session with the his excellency the minister of finance and all those things which we couldn't discuss publicly were discussed informally and then we didn't move by different directions it was very open hard discussions 
It also showed uh, the awareness of the Nepalese government, but even more, the willingness to change where the things that don't work. And this is a very uh, humble and modest uh, gesture that people would appreciate very soon. Okay. At last, you want to say something about Nepal? This is the sixth or seventh time I'm visiting Nepal. Seventh time. Yes. And um, every time when I come, I feel a peaceful of mind. It's a very nice country to visit. Rarely can you find people who are more friendly than the Nepalese, but also for the beauty of the country. And then, as I always tell my colleagues and then the minister, this is the only place where I drink water, whatever, from which source, because it's already mineral. So I think the people know Nepal for climbing the Everest, but they should know Nepal for the beauty of the waterfalls, for all the other ingredients. So yes, maybe there should be a little bit more aggressive uh, advertisement of what you have because people don't know what you have. I know. That's why I come back very often. I have many friends here. And then it's always the renewable um, happiness and the renewable joy that I come back to Nepal. Uh, your name, please. My name is uh, Yusuf al Badr. I am the superintendent for Southeast Asia and Pacific country in Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development. You are here in Nepal to participate in this third investment summit. How has your experience been? It's a phenomenal experience. My first uh, meeting at this level in the region. Uh, I believe it is a highly successful event which need to be uh, repeated uh, on uh, every two years. It brings forth all main parties involved in realizing any government's dream and especially the Nepalese government in terms of bringing development partners, institutional investors and individual investors together to look at the opportunities that this country has to offer under the management of the current government. Uh, did you invest in Nepal before? Yes, our operations uh, for Kuwait Fund as a sovereign development agency for the state of Kuwait. We've been active in Nepal since uh, 1975. Yes, and we our portfolio yet might look small uh, with on just about 70 million US dollars. It is not a big portfolio. Focusing on two sectors, renew uh, energy and uh, irrigation, as well as water and irrigation, yes. Uh, our last project was the Budiganga Hydropower. Yes, we are currently financing it and uh, we are looking forward in this event to take advantage of us being here and our meeting with uh, the government headed by His Excellency the Prime Minister to see what other opportunities there are to assist and aid. Kuwait Fund is a demand-driven agency. We listen to our partners' need and we help them with their requirements. It means you are here in Nepal to seeking a more opportunity for invest. Yes, well, as I said, we are demand driven. We are here to see the opportunities. And we will, when we sit with the governments, we look forward to receiving their request as we only cater to the government's top priority projects. Uh, recently, the government of Nepal revised many policies to attract foreign investors in Nepal. Do you know that? Oh, I'm not aware about that. Okay. Anyway, uh, do you think uh, the government? Uh, do you think the government of Nepal can grab uh, lots of opportunity from this investment summit? Absolutely. How? Absolutely. Well, let as I said in my uh, in my in, the, my in my initial intervention, that you have everyone you need right now on the ground around you, such as myself as a sovereign institutional uh, development bank, as well as I can see all around these young entrepreneurs, businessmen from not only your neighbors, but from the world. Because people understand the location of Nepal, the, the, the power of its people. The people are the key, and the Nepalese people are very well known for their highly skilled talents. And there is no doubt that with the right leadership, which you currently have, I think a lot can be achieved. Okay. 
At last, you want to say something about Nepal? It is my first time here. And, and uh, running this region in my institution, I hope and I look forward to coming many, many times again. And uh, I have no doubt that next time I come here will be with my team to sign our next project. Okay. Your name, please. Yes, my name is Al Hassan Abdul Ghani. I'm the head of information and communication at the Ghana Embassy. Ghana Embassy. Ghana Embassy in China. Okay. So I'm from Beijing. Okay, you're from Beijing. Okay. I'm a okay. Ghanaian from Beijing. I work at the Embassy. You are here in Nepal to participate in the third investment summit. How has your experience been? Yes, uh, if you look at Nepal and Ghana, um, they have a lot of similarities. Uh, you see that the population of Nepal is mostly youthful. And so, in terms of uh, information technology, it should be a very wise place to invest. Our aim here as Ghanaians is to look at the modalities that best fit um, Nepal, since we have recognized and realized the similarities we have with Nepal. So basically, I mean, we're picking up some few tips and how we can actually invest similarly, since we have similar problems. Did Ghana's people invest in Nepal before? Do you know that? Um, not much as I know, but it is our our case here is to look at the human resource in terms of ideas that is flowing. And that is an opportunity we're taking for this summit. So we are here with the ambassador and some other officers from the embassy representing Ghana. Uh, if you are referring Ghana's people to invest in Nepal, which sector will be that? Of course, we look at the agri-sector. Agri-sector, we have been... Um, agriculture has been the, the, the pivot of our economy. And, you know, as a developing country, we put so much energy into that. If you realize, Ghana is more, um, uh, one of the highest producers of cocoa. All the chocolates and all the chocolates, the best chocolates comes from Ghana. So much as we are also here, we are also here to look at investors who are also ready and have interest in investing in Ghana. So we, we, we have a common ground to look at these two things. Yeah. Uh, in your thoughts, how can Nepal grab a lot of opportunity from this investment summit? In my thoughts, how can we get opportunities in this summit? Um, we've, we've seen businesses, businessmen, we have entrepreneurs coming approaching us. They have heard about Ghana, the potential we have. Uh, Ghana and, and, as I said earlier, Ghana and Nepal share a lot of similarities. Even in terms of population, we are a little about 30 million. Nepal is a little above 30 million. We are youthful, mostly youthful population. Nepal is mostly youthful population. Nepal is seeking to see investment in agriculture. We are all out looking for people who want to invest in that. We have huge arable land in, in Ghana. And we have, we, you can farm all season in Ghana. There's nothing like winter and everybody's in rooms. We have similarities even in terms of the weather. So, there is a lot more to learn um, from people who are here. And that's what we are coming, we are here to tap in. Uh, at last, you want to say something about Nepal? Ah, it's a nice place. It's, it's, I think um, Nepal is, is on the grounds to shoot up. But uh, what I wanted to emphasize is on the London, the airport. Um, it's, the, it's, the, it's the first phase of the country. And that, for me, it should be taken seriously. They would have to work on the, the airport because if you leave Nepal airport and come inside Nepal, you have a different story. This is my first visit. So if you get to the airport, the inside looks better than the, the initial phase of the, of the country. And that has to be taken so seriously. Your name, please. Uh, my name is Mikhailo. I'm from Croatia. Uh, you are here in Nepal to participate in the Thor Investment Summit. Yeah. How has your experience been? Uh, my experience are very uh, interesting. 
Uh, I uh, met many people here uh, as a part of this exhibit and uh, I noticed that many opportunities can be uh, implemented here. So it's positive. Did you invest in Nepal before? Uh, not before, but uh, I think uh, now on and in the future it will be a very good uh, time and the uh, time is coming to uh, uh, people uh, think about investing in this country because it's full of potential. In future, which sector will you invest in here? Uh, definitely undeveloped transport is uh, one of the sectors. Uh, as a person who was trying to move around, it's not pretty simple and it's dangerous. So I think once when the transport sector is invested in, uh, every other will follow the same um, uh, um, okay. things. Uh, recently, our government of Nepal revised too many policies to attract FDI in Nepal. Do you know that? Uh, I just find out on this uh, invest uh, summit forum. Yes. Then, what do you think uh, that government idea, which was uh, revised uh, to many policies, that idea can attract FDI in Nepal? Oh yes, uh, definitely it can help. But the main in investment in this country should be or first. Uh, transport. Once when transport is regulated and uh, organized, uh, then all other will follow automatically. At last, you want to say something about Nepal? Uh, Nepal is a beautiful country with a very nice culture and very nice people. It's safe. I feel very nice here. The food is uh, great. Uh, but uh, as a tourist, as I was last year for the first time here, I uh, witnessed very big issues uh, in uh, movement in the city. Uh, all buses are not understandable for uh, tourists. The numbers are on Nepalese. So uh, as soon as possible, uh, this city and this uh, entire country need to regulate these things if want to have uh, trust of the foreign people. What is your name? Uh, my name is Gary. Uh, from where? Uh, from Macau, China. Uh, which company from Blanks? Uh, my company is to the engineering, design and uh, energy, really the energy. Uh, you are here in Nepal to participate in the third investment summit. Yeah. How, uh, how has your experience been? I'm no experience here, but so that's why I come here for this is the first time at Nepal. So I find that they have a lot of resources. So that's why I think that there are a lot of opportunity, especially on the energy uh, sector. Uh, did you invest in Nepal before? Uh, no, I have no experience, but I think that this is a good time uh, to uh, come here to find out the opportunity. I think this is a good place for the do the uh, different investment, especially is my expertise is on energy sector, because now the green energy is very demanded no matter which country. It means you, you are planning to invest in here in future? Uh, I think so, but let's see. Um, the, um, first is a policy. Second is related with the, the environment, how can be managed together because uh, we do the energy. We need to ensure that all the demand and, uh, and the supply, what the situation such that we can match, meet the profile. It means uh, if you invest in Nepal in future, it will choose the uh, energy sector. Yeah, yeah, we will do the energy sector. We, 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 I think so because I'm expertise on the energy side. Uh, recently, the government of Nepal revised many policies. Uh, it means uh, they want to attract foreign FDI, foreign investment. Yeah. Yeah, do you know that? Or? I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure yet. So that's why uh, maybe tomorrow we have a sp some special session for the green energy. So I should be joined tomorrow morning so to know about more clear about no matter the green financing and also the energy development at uh, Nepal. Okay. In your thoughts, how can Nepal grab a lot of opportunity in, from this investment summit? I don't know this one. I'm sorry, I don't know that. Okay. But I, I will try to uh, learn it from here and then to find a good opportunity. I think it's a very good opportunity. Okay. At last, you want to say something about Nepal? Um, I'm first time here. I just come here about the two days, but I think it's very, very beautiful city. Yeah, uh, I think this this time weather is fine. It's no rain. So if uh, next time I come, I will do a uh, hiking. Okay, enjoy in Nepal and thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, for the interview. Thank you. Uh, your name, please? It's Lucky Ma. I'm from China. Yeah. Okay, you are, you are here in Nepal to participate in the third investment summit. How has your experience been? It's been great for, so I'm uh, very happy, me and my friend Samia, we come here. And uh, uh, this is my third time coming to Nepal. I'm very love this country. 
so the, the people is friendly, so I love it. So, so far, so great. Did you invest in Nepal before? Uh, I helped uh, one Chinese, uh, the big businessman, invest here in Bhattapur. Uh, the, and my friend, he had a big, giant uh, food and medical brick factory. So food and medical factory? Yes. In future, you want to invest in here? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, um, me and my friend Samia, we together to find some great opportunities. That's why we be honored to be here, to seeking opportunities right here. Yes. If you invest in here in your future, uh, which sector will be that? I think uh, for now, I'm looking forward. Uh, I'm looking around like uh, the Bhagatapur and Kathmandu. I think th those two are great place. That those place are what we thinking about and looking for. In your thoughts, how can Nepal grab lots of opportunity from this investment summit? Uh, for me, my personal, I think um, people is more important. Uh, we Chinese have a great relationship with uh, the Nepali. So I think for me, uh, for me is enough. I already decided to looking for the opportunities. At last, you want to say something about Nepal? I love Nepal. And uh, I hope the Chinese, the China and Nepal relationship forever. Uh, you are here in Nepal to participate in the Thor Investment Summit. How has your experience been? The experience is very good. Now we are representing uh, our organization like Indian Industries Association. So it's a big uh, association in India. So it's, the experience is very good now. Okay. Uh, did you invest in Nepal before? No, but we are doing business here. We are planning here. to invest uh, in Nepal. Bhaiya is also planning in, uh, in in tourism sector, and I am looking after in wood and food processing yeah. to invest here. Yeah. Today, uh, you and Nepal's association do a YAMU for investing here and col collaboration. Uh, what is the purpose of that YAMU? Yeah, we have signed a MOU with FB, F F FNIC uh, for the betterment of both the countries. We have like 18,000 plus uh, industries in India uh, under Indian Industries Association and I have heard from Tita Ramji that uh, the FBNIC have more than two lakh members yeah. under this. So like we are in process of building a good relationship to improve export, import between both, both the countries and to make a fruitful business. Yeah. In future, what uh, what are the benefits for Nepal and India from this uh, MOU sign? I am thinking it will be very very beneficial because government is uh, coming with a lot of uh, you know opportunities with lot of uh, schemes. So uh, as of now, we don't know lot of uh, you know uh, deeply, but we came to know they are giving good prize land in on the lease and the main licensing they are uh, giving like India one time portal. It will be solve all our problem in the one month time. So it is better for us and Nepal uh, is always our, you know, good market for us. So if we are manufacturing here, we our cost will be, you know, less and we can sell easily here. Yeah. It means uh, in future you want to invest in here? Yeah, we are, uh, like I have already told you that we are looking to invest here. We have come with 18 plus delegates from India for the investment purpose and we have already talked with FNIC regarding our requirement, the plan, how we can proceed further. So we are in planning place. Uh, recently, our government of Nepal revised our policy uh, to many policies uh, for attract foreign investment in Nepal. Uh, do you know that? Yeah, yeah, we are aware of this. We are aware, of, they are very, very interested. We are, uh, they want to, somebody come here and invest here. And we are also coming uh, because of this only. So as Aman told, we are coming, 18 people are here. And in, in a part of 18, I think eight or nine are very, very serious. So these policy, which they are providing us, they are very interesting. Uh, the one thing is land. They are giving us land. It's very cheap prices with on lease. So definitely we will be uh, thinking it will be a good future Nepal for us. Nepal has a very low labor cost, low electricity cost, low land cost. So, and India is like, India Nepal is not a, like a different country. We are, uh, we both share common language. Most of them know Hindi as well in Nepal, so it will be fruitful. Uh, in your thoughts, uh, how can Nepal grab lots of opportunity from this investment summit? I have, I have already shared in the morning with FNIC 
that Nepal government should come up with the exit policy. Like if we are setting up a unit over here, it's not necessary that it will run like way I want. So I just I just ask them to share the exit plan as well, so that it will be easy for any investor to come to see and grab the opportunity in Nepal. Okay. At last, uh, you want to say something about Nepal? Their hospitality, hospitality is very, very good. We are very glad to come here, a part of this, uh, you know, investor summit. Your all hospitality, all food, everything is very good. And uh, now we are planning to go Pashupati Nath Mandir, very, very, you know, famous mandir here. And uh, we are very, very happy here. So we all congratulations to Nepal government and Nepal people for organizing this type of event. And my friend uh, Balji also. Yeah. also. Yeah. Special yeah. thanks to him as well. He has managed everything so, so closely. He's taking care of us. So thank you for that, sir.